What up YouTube, Vince Lundy here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we got a fun little DIY project and I'm gonna show you how to make this dope entertainment stand for under $40. So this is kind of the second time through uh, with this entertainment stand. The first time I actually used it for a TV stand. Um, I used it for a TV and its components, its cable box. When I moved into my new house, I didn't need that stand anymore uh, to put a TV on. I just mounted it right on the wall because we had a little bit more room. So I had all the materials laying around and I said, okay, let's make something cool out of this. That's not a TV stand because, well, all my TVs were kind of taken care of. They're all mounted now. Um, before I didn't really do that because I was in an apartment and you really can't uh, mount TVs at an apartment. It's kind of frowned upon. So like I said, I still had all the materials um, and I figured it's kind of just taking up space in my garage. So uh, I was gonna pull it back out and do a little, uh, a little entertainment stand for my record player. Um, I haven't set it up in a while. It's kind of just been sitting around. So I figured I'd get it, get it rolling again and get that good vintage analog sound that I missed for so long. So you're gonna need three materials for this project. It's super, super easy. You're gonna get cinder blocks, you're gonna get plywood and spray paint. And guys, I would say like, hey, I'm gonna list these in the link in the description, but let's be honest, uh, I don't think the Amazon guy is going to be delivering cinder blocks and plywood to your front door. It's a little ridiculous, so just go to your local hardware store, Lowe's, Home Depot, whatever you guys wanna do. Um, get it there, under 40 bucks. It's gonna be the cheapest investment for something like this for a piece of furniture that you'll ever make, I guarantee that. You know what, I just remembered, I forgot one more supply you'll need, stain. Not to worry though, it's really cheap. For this example, uh, I use, I think, dark walnut. I always enjoy that, it's kind of like, that's pretty much what I use for the rest of my office, so it's just the dark walnut. A lot of this stuff is kind of, you know, custom built that I do in my office, so, and it's really easy. I'm by no means am I like a carpenter or a, you know, a licensed, uh, contractor or anything like that. I'm just a, a filmmaker who happens to kind of dabble in DIY and, and building my own random stuff. Like the entertainment stand I'm showing you guys right now. So what you're gonna need are six total cinder blocks and you're gonna get plywood. Obviously don't go with like the cheap like, you know, OSB plywood that's, you know, splintery. Um, it's not used for like finishing wood or, or for, you know, building furniture or anything like that. So you wanna go with, uh, you know, a sanded plywood, which is a little bit better, obviously better than the OSB, but um, if you want something a little bit nicer, um, you could pay a little bit more and get the hardwood plywood or even like a birch or a poplar, one, you know, one of those two. That's kind of already sanded nice and neat for you. Um, I would go with 3 fourths inch thick, that way um, it's strong enough to kind of support all your components and your speakers. It's strong enough that it's not just gonna kind of bend in the middle um, with the weight of your components. So um, I would go with that. So as you see this thing get built, guys, it's super easy. It's literally just two cinder blocks stacked on top of each other. You can go higher if you want. For mine, I just needed to fit the baskets underneath and, and that was enough room for me. And then you're gonna go plywood on top of that. Uh, remember, you wanna cut your plywood. You're gonna wanna sand it around the edges. Uh, wipe it down, make sure it's dry. You wanna stain it. Um, and then after that, let it dry overnight. Cinder blocks right on top. Um, and then you're gonna finish off the piece with boom, just another piece of plywood. And by the way, the dimensions to that board are, let's see if I can remember. Hold on, let me check. 16 by 43. Uh, so 16 inches, that is gonna be uh, enough depth to kind of hold you know, the components like the record player and the receiver, um, so not to worry. And 16 inches lines up perfectly with these cinder blocks. And in my opinion, I think it's a great size. Uh, it doesn't take up too much room. Again, if you wanna do a TV stand, you can go a little bit longer maybe, uh, if your TV is a little bit wider. Uh, but you can really go any size wide, um, but I would definitely keep the depth at 16 inches. So this is not required, but this is something that I kind of added to it to give it a little bit more contrast. Um, the cinder blocks are like a stone kind of gray color when they come in. Um, I just bought some white spray paint and I sprayed them down. I think, uh, you know, kind of went through like maybe a can or two. They do take a lot more than like spraying wood or drywall or, or whatever. It contrasts really well with the dark walnut stain. So this is optional. You definitely don't have to do that, but it's up to you. This is just a really cool, uh, I think, conversation piece. So you have friends over or something like that and they say, hey, that's a really cool, you know, did you get that from Ikea? That's a really cool piece. And you said, no, I made it. This guy, Vince Lundy, on YouTube showed me how to do it. 
You don't have to give my name, no big deal. Uh, no, but seriously guys, I uh, just wanted to pop on here and do a really quick video, really quick little tutorial on this cool little DIY entertainment stand that I built. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, do me a huge favor. It would really mean a lot to me if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, share if you like. Um, I would also greatly appreciate it if you subscribed. I do DIY videos like this. I do filmmaking tips and tricks and tutorials um, and really just kind of fun stuff. So uh, 2020 is gonna have a lot of cool stuff upcoming. So stay tuned, keep with, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.